In this video, we're going to talk about the Flipper Zero and the external module C1101. So it is a follow-up video from my first video talking about this subject. And I found it really interesting to do now a follow-up. The reason is this mode is like no more than three months old as we are watching this video in April 2023 and I want to split this video in four steps basically. So the first one will be like an introduction on how we end up like using this external antenna and module and the second step will be like the different solutions that is like allowing you to use this um, module okay and on the third step we're going to do a step-by-step -step procedure or tutorial you name it on how to use this module with the flipper zero and last but not the least I will make a conclusion on what we achieve on this video. Thanks to Canon Walk, here we have like an implementation of the external module. And there is actually one major benefit. The range, reception and emission could be huge. No, there is definitely a gap, a 10x for my end. With this little antenna here, I'm able to reach 100 meters away my remote in 433 megahertz. So without any modification with the stock Flipper Zero, it's only 10 meters radius for me. So. That being said, also it's improved all the noise um, that the internal module will catch, especially the one from the power circuit of the micro SD. Some people on Reddit already like noticed it, and it's around 312 megahertz if you want to check out. I found really interesting to look at the path here from connecting the module with loose wire to the flipper zero or like you know, from designing and cutting like a prototype PCB using only the pin board needed and ending up designing a whole new PCB that is going to take advantage of like the five volt power of the flipper zero and give a really nice design here so the antenna is going to get out and you have really a small part it's not going to be like using the whole spectrum of gpio like all the module you know so here in this video i'm not going to make breaking or cutting tree <laughs> new design definitely not but my aim here is to show you how to assemble your module with really simple component and tool to here <laughs> so the, the electrician tape just to isolate some wire and stuff we're going to solder here so basically here like for me it's the essence of the flipper zero you could like just tinker or also for sure like go professional i would say in one way and design or use like well done uh, pcbs so yeah here really simple parts decided to use the whole um, spectrum of like GPIO to make them really uh, sturdy, sturdy design and also a large 
prototype board to have let's say some room if there is something else that I want to add so we never know and now we are going to see step by step how we assemble this hey before starting any soldering I want to show you something I've thought here so here like the flipper zero could lean back and, and stay and you could like read it pretty pretty okay but when you add a module it's going to be a different story so let's add the different uh, pins here and I will show you what we're going to realize so here's a module is already plugged but not solder on the PCB here and I put on top and here that's what I want to achieve basically here I have um, okay angle to, to read the flipper zero and I have the antenna here okay so this one I could bend even and you see I could put the flipper zero and read what's displayed so okay in front of the flipper zero i would have the antenna but that's something i will i will take and here for people that are even more motivated maybe in the future i will make a, a cover in 3d so but for right now like tape or even shrinkable uh, um, tape will be will be more than okay a okay, little tips here on how to solve the prototype board with like the pins so i don't have like any fancy tool so i'm using like a breadboard and i already like put like the pins that i want to solder and here is just some uh, additional pins that i want to use as you know a support to make it really flat so here i would suggest to to use anything like that could make it flat when you want to solder because you know you want it to not move and stick well on the flipper zero okay so here's my my thing i don't think it's really interesting to see me soldering every step here but just to illustrate could be nice Okay, they are far from being perfect, but they will do the job. Next step now is to solder the module connectors pins. And just before that, I have like put some glue to make some sort of support for the connector. And this is really working well. And you see, it's pretty flat and really sturdy now. Now that the pins from like the external module are soldered, I will need to make wire that fits all the distance to the different pin from the side here that are going to be connected to the flipper zero. Hey, so here is the module wired so i have to do everything in one side so here it's because i didn't have like proper wires that could go through the hole here i was thinking at one point to dig a hole like to make it go there but yeah no i didn't want to weaken the board so it's not what i uh, intended at first but um, hey it looks pretty cool no so let's plug it to check if it's working so you might guess it it's working i have made some tests here so if i launch a sub gigahertz and i check that i'm an external i'm obviously here not activating the 5 volt because you know i'm still using the 3 one and let's start it so module connected as expected antenna and here's that's a remote for my fan in my kitchen okay you see so here it's fully working um 
what would be nice in the future is like use this other antenna our links um, model it's like centi 30 centimeters so that might even increase um, the range um, like I said before I have tests in the park with the same remote so it's 433 megahertz and it was like reachable from 100 meters meters I don't think it will was for me to make any test inside because anyway I not able to to go in any indoor places that have 100 meter range and I think depending of like all the condition like wall interference etc it's probably not worth to to make such test now from like the build of this module I obviously um, failed taking most advantage of like the PCB because like I only use the wire right from like some pins here straight to the even like PCB of some module so well I could have used any other bunch of like plastic or wood to to hold like some the module and put the pin out so definitely if I was able to use Sino cable here I could put them through all the hole from the PCB or make it different but from now I think it's it looks okay you know I could make it better um, I don't know looking but protect them at least with some additional uh, electrical tape or um, the glue here with the gun you know and maybe in the future I would change my mind and build a, a top here uh, with the 3d printer because here I think the design is quite nice if you just want to scan and you let your your flippers you are like that way you know so it's it leaned back and you could like watch whatever um, uh, result you 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 have you know so thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for new upcoming one I might do one with like ESP32 when I have like um, kind of an idea on how to, to solder and try to save some space here. Thank you.